Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or if you're new, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at um, this F-104. I showed you guys how to do the modeling on it already and um, this is what I've done so far and I've went ahead and hollowed this out and everything and for to 3D print this and everything. And this model will be available on my Patreon site to my Patreon um, members there also once the design of this is done. And I'm going to have a person here test fly this for me. And once all that's done, I'm just going to have it on my site for the people who are members of my site. You can just go ahead and, and download it. This is for a 50 millimeter EDF. And let me turn the lines back on here. And as you can see, this is how it's um, all split up here. Turn the hatch off here, the front hatch. Take a look inside. And you can see all that. And we have a little um, latch here to um, take off the complete hatch. I may put a hatch back here because the EDF is going to be here. Sorry, here, this one, EDF hatch here. Click the wrong one, and it's going to sit down in there. So since it being back here, then the ECS, the um, speed controller, and battery will most likely be um, right back here. Since this has a long nose, the CG still has to be back here somewhere, so the um, EDF fan's back here, and the battery most likely going to have be back here too to offset the weight of this nose, even though this is a pretty light um, jet here. Oh, I want to tell you guys about my um, giveaway two for 10,000 subscribers. As soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a few prizes. Go ahead and check out that video. I'll be giving out away a DA-35, uh, a some uh, Polymaker 3D printing filament, and a CAD mouse. So if you check out my video on that, you see how to enter that uh, um, contest. There's really no entering. It's um, I'll just be selecting randomly. And so, yeah. So, let's go ahead and take a look, look, at, look at the 3D printed model now. Okay, here we are with the 3D printed F-104. Oh, one thing I want to say before we get started here is that uh, my last video that I talked about the prices that I'll be giving away on my channel when I reach the 10,000, um, or excuse me, the 10K mark subscribers, I said I was going to give the cat mouse to the 10,000th subscriber, but that's going to be changed. That's going to be given to a random um, subscriber also. And so, yeah. So I just want to get that out of the way before you start. But this is the F-104 printed, and this is very, very light. Um, this is about 1.1 meters long, and this right here weighs 14 ounces, so it doesn't even weigh a pound. And this will be powered with a 50 millimeter EDF, which is this unit right here. And this unit on four cells puts out about 33 ounces of thrust. So it's gonna be a little over, just a little bit over two pounds of thrust from this little EDF on four cells. And um, right off bat, I'm guessing this is gonna come in probably about one and three quarter pounds uh, with the battery and all the servos. And this is just regular PLA. This is Polymaker's PLA. And um, if you print it this with Lightweight PLA, the pre-foamed already, it, this will be 20% lighter. And if you print this with the foaming lightweight PLA, this could be up to 40 per 40 to 50% lighter. So uh, this is a pretty big jet too for something that doesn't weigh very much. And I like how I designed this one. 
And again, I'm just doing these little models to show you how quick these things can be designed and how fast they can be printed. And so you could be flying a plane in a couple of days like this. It took me, I'm guessing, not guessing, but uh, calculating here, it probably took me about five hours worth of modeling on this. And to print this took about 10 hours to 3D print this. And I figure, you know, uh, putting the parts in it, and everything, um, probably just looking at, you know, another hour, a couple hours or so, putting all the servos in and stuff, um, and the little slots here and everything. So, um, yeah, and uh, the hatch. Um, and have hatches that come off and stuff and everything to see down the side of here. As you can see, it's uh, looking pretty good. This didn't, like I said, this did not take me long to design and it did not take me long to 3D print. And I'm probably going to put another hatch back here, um, being that the CG of this F-104 is back here somewhere. And this is a long nose, so um, it, We'll see how it's going to work out. But the EDF unit, this hatch, um, let me get this off in the back here. This will come off here. And you can see that in there. This comes off here. And then this EDF unit fits right in there. Oops. Get that right. And we have that down in there. And you see that spins and stuff. So yeah, and um, get this hatch back on it. Like I said, this is very light. And these types of airplanes like this, I'm not doing these to try to um, sell them or anything like that but they will be available on my Patreon site if you want to um, uh, purchase just the, S, um, the STP, STEP or STEP file or the um, F3D file for Fusion for these. They'll be available on my site and you can download that file and you can modify this to your likings and do things to it. And um, like I said, I'm not doing this to, you know, to do a whole lot of these and try to sell them and everything, the files for that. No, I am I'm doing these to show you guys um, that it doesn't take long to model these things and 3D print them and get them flying. And I, um, I really actually enjoy showing you guys how to do this type of stuff. It, um, I want to show you that this is, again, this is not hard to do, you know. It just takes a little time, you know. Like I said, this took me about um, right around five hours to do. And printing took right around 10 hours. And it's, um, it's a good looking jet. And um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna fly really well too. And everything. And I use the, um, again, the um, profile. Um, I believe it's a 0011 uh, NACA uh, for that. And I thought it was a little too thick at first, but this is um, perfect. I don't know if you can actually see that, but um, in my CAD, when I was showing you guys how to model this, I thought the airfoil was a little too thick, but um, this is perfect, the size of it. So yeah, and like I said again, um, the file for this, the file for this and the Bandit Jet will be on my Patreon site. Um, as I do a little more modification to the Bandit Jet, I may do that one again because I think it's a little too heavy. I think I made the walls just a little too thick and I need to go back and tweak it a little more and um, get it lighter and, um, and et cetera, you know, to light like this one is. And this I think is the perfect, um, thickness for the walls of these airplanes. It's, um, it's somewhat translucent, but it's very um, strong. Now, the thing is, if you print this with lightweight PLA, it won't be as strong as this PLA. And then if you use um, like high temp lightweight PLA or just regular um, um, 
lightweight PLA that's foaming type. It's going to be more fragile than this. And to get the strength like the PLA, you'll have to print two, um, um, two walls for that. And then it doesn't give you any weight savings. And so therefore, it's no sense, in, in my opinion, um, unless you live in a hot place like I do where it gets hot outside, then they, um, the, um, the lightweight high temperature PLA will be perfect and just print that with two walls. And um, it'll, it'll weigh as much as this, and it'll be sturdier, but it'll be, um, can take the heat. That's just regular PLA where I live. Um, I don't know. Um, I just have to be very careful when you go outside with, uh, with it or leaving in the cars and stuff like that. It can heat up and melt and warp and everything like that. So, yeah. But, again, this is pretty cool. And um, the elevators in the back here, um, printed all those too, and everything. And the hatch um, covers, the servos will just um, be hot glued down the side of there and these will just cover each one of the holes um, in there. So yeah, but anyway, the files for this and my Bandit Jet will be on my Patreon site. I'll probably put them on there within the next couple of weeks. I just want to wrap up a few things on this first so everything um, fits properly and get all the holes in it and where the wires should be routed through because there's going to be a servo back here um, for the elevator and I get to put the holes in here to get the wires to, um, so it can come up through here and um, et cetera. So, yeah. But, um, like I said, again, this will be available. This and the Bandit Jet will be available on my um, Patreon site. And if you become a member over there, you'll have access to um, the files of this. Or you can just purchase the files for this separately. And once again, when I put the files over there, it's just going to be a step file that you can open up in different CAD software. So you can uh, modify it. And there will be an F, um, F3D file there. So if you're working with uh, Fusion 360, you can um, easily open this up and modify it. And you see the timeline down the bottom and um, everything. And for those of you, it may take me a little longer down the line who really need the, um, they don't want to do any modification to it or whatever. They just want to um, download the STL files and stuff like that. Those would be on there too a little later. But um, for those of you who want to actually look at the step files and learn a few things from there, um, how things are done, how I did all this and everything. Or you can watch my video too, and you want to follow along with it and stuff like that, and I'm um, looking at that. That would be there for you to use as well. But that's going to do it for this video. And once again, check out my video on my up-and-coming um, contest here, where I'll be giving away prizes, uh, I'll be giving away a DA35, be giving away a cat mouse, and 3D printing filament. And all you have to do is be a subscriber. And I'll be doing a, ran <coughs> excuse me, a random drawing. As soon as I hit 10,000 um, subscribers, do a um, random drawing and select the winners for that. So yeah, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.